Hello, how are you guys doing? I wanted to come on here and chat a little bit. I wanted to just give some updates, talk about how I've been feeling. We really haven't had a sit down face to face chat since the move. Um, and it's been crazy, right? Like life's been really, really, really hectic and just chaotic, honestly. So I've been doing my best to like get the daily organic content out there, the shorts, but I really did want to be able to sit down and just talk to you guys about how I've been feeling, what's been going on. Ignore the dogs, they're playing. They're play fighting right now, right in front of me. But yeah, so I've been struggling a little bit, just to be completely honest. I, I don't like the feeling of posting like one type of content, but then in real life feeling a, a totally different way, right? And so I think it's important to just stay transparent, at least for me and my platform and, and what my goals and intentions are here. That is something that's important to me, right? Is to like really let you know what is truly going on because I don't want to ever give anybody false. I don't know, the internet's it's hard enough. People watch other people's lives and it can make us feel icky or envious. And that's why I think being transparent and truthful, if you are going to be on the internet as a public figure, influencer, creator, whatever you want to call it, I do think there's an obligation to be transparent to an extent. Of course, boundaries are um, appropriate, but yeah, so, you know, it's hard to differentiate the how I've been feeling in terms of, is it the move, right? Because there has been a lot going on. Is it the fact that for the first time ever, like my mom's not in the state? Um, you know, she's living in Myrtle. She had her knee surgery. So me and my mom went from talking every day, basically my entire life to me not really talking to her much at all or seeing her, um, you know, leaving the bar and doing social media full time. So it's like, these are really, really, really big life changes. And they're all, ha they, they have all happened for me at once. You know, my mom was a huge part of my life. The bar and working in the bar was a huge part of my sobriety and just like my accountability and my community, right? Um, so yeah, I didn't love my house. So I was excited to move. And, you know, I was feeling kind of yucky right before the move. We're not going to start this, girls. And I remember saying to myself, like, I can't expect for every single problem and negative feeling to go away when I move, right? I had to be very careful with that and not set some crazy high expectation that when I get out of that old house and get into my new one, everything's going to be better. I knew it wasn't. I knew it was going to help me a lot in certain ways, right? Storage, having an office, having more space. Of course, that's going to benefit us. But with some of the things I was going through, it's going to take a little bit more than moving location to get myself feeling right. Um, let me move the dogs really quick because they're going to be an incredible distraction while I'm speaking if they continue to do this right here in front of me. Pause because I have to show you guys something. What is it about having a really cute, like matching lingerie set on underneath your clothes, even though nobody's seeing it, that makes us feel so good and so powerful? What is that sorcery? Because although nobody will be seeing this bra and undie set, <laughs> she's giving luxury, she's giving adorable, and most importantly, she's giving comfort and affordability. I've been wearing Parade for quite some time now, and that's for a good reason. Not only is Parade inclusive and affordable, but they're also sustainable. Parade believes that sustainability should not be a luxury, but rather for everyone. This is their Glow Lux Satin, and I can tell you that it is not made out of boiled silkworms, unlike traditional silk. And because of this, the fabric is more washable, more durable. Their products are made to last, and they do. I'll be honest, I hate wearing bras, but I love the lift that they give. Traditional wired bras are so uncomfortable, and they they don't last. And I don't know about you, but I'm just tired of being stabbed in the armpit all day long. But Parade solved that for us because their undergarments are made to be comfortable. I wear this cozy and adjustable black bra every day. There's an incredible range of sizes from extra small to 5XL. And get ready because we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming. And Parade is offering 30% off site-wide. However, with my unique code, you guys can get 40% off site-wide. So go check out Parade. I have provided a link above that will take you directly to their site. Thank you, Parade, for supporting me in more ways than one. So with how I've been feeling and how life's been going, I've been doing a lot of reflecting. And there is one major theme that I'm coming to find or realizing within my struggle and my transition in multiple ways in terms of having a new house, having a new career, so on and so forth. Um, but the biggest struggle that I've experienced is, I don't know, just like not getting sucked into a certain side of influencing that we see so often and that is so common. And 
it's really hard for me to explain and break down and people don't really talk about this, which is a really big reason on why I want to bring this up and why I want to talk about this. Um, you know, I don't go to work anymore. I don't have a boss anymore. I don't have a schedule anymore that is handed to me, right? It's up to me to create that schedule. And it's such a privilege to get to choose your hours, choose when you work, pick your own schedule. It, it's such a privilege, but it can also be difficult, especially if you have ADHD or struggles with organization um, in those ways. And I was so used to being held accountable by my boss and by my schedule that that was a really big transition. And I remember when I think about what life was like as a bartender, right? I really, I really looked forward to my days off. I really looked forward to, you know, my, my Friday, knowing that the weekend is coming. And then I would really anticipate those days off. If I'd get called off or wasn't needed for a shift, that little bit of excitement that I didn't have to go into work today, you know, and that's kind of just goes into life in general. And I tell Myla this all the time when she says like, I don't want to go to school. I wish I didn't have to go to school. If we didn't have to do things we didn't want to do, life would just be this constant flat line. But because there's good and bad in life, we can feel good, right? Because there's bad, because there's negative things that happen or we don't want to go to work today, but we do it anyways. Because of those negative feelings, there can also be really good, exciting feelings too. But when you don't have the bad, you don't have the good, right? Does that make sense? And with doing social media full time, what I'm realizing is it can often feel like a flat line. You lose the gratitude for your days off. Because every single day you're getting to choose when you want to work, when you don't really want to work. So you, 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 you lose out on that gratitude of having a day off. And I think that's where the out of touch um, issue starts to happen. It, it really can snowball into that, right? You find yourself in such a different lifestyle that is still so new, right? Influencing is still so new. The internet in this way with short form content, it's all so new and you know, I've seen it with other creators. I watch other people. I study other people. And then I study how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And with me, I started to catch myself in that space where there wasn't much gratitude for anything. And I was just becoming very irritated at so many things and realizing, okay, no, this is going to lead me down that path of becoming out of touch with reality and what is really happening in the world, right? Being home all the time and not having to go to a job has affected my mental health negatively 100%. Um, I'm really, really struggling to come up with a schedule of just like when to work, when to relax. And what I can honestly say to you is I gave up my nine to five, right? My traditional work hours of going into work and having a schedule. I gave that up to work 24 seven, truly. And, and that's what I find to be so difficult about social media. There's no actual feeling of clocking out, right? I don't ever actually feel like I have clocked out. Sure, I may be in my office filming a video and when I'm done filming, I'm done filming. But then when I'm on my way to dinner with my friends, I'm getting something uploaded to Instagram. I'm adding this link for this partnership. Like I truly am working 24 seven. And, and that's up to me, right, to change. And, you know, I have implemented certain things to kind of structure my day to day and my work life balance. And, and one of those things was getting a work phone you know, and turning the phone off when I am not working and only using the phone when I am, you know, and anybody who's contacting me for work related things only contacting me through this phone. And, you know, <laughs> I think it's what you make it because so often people that do this and get two phones will say, now I just have two phones and two numbers and it's even more chaotic, right? And that can absolutely happen or be the case for a lot of people. I think it really depends you know, what you do with it, right? How you handle it, what you do with the phone, if you remain, if you hold yourself accountable to having a work phone and a personal phone. And I have been doing my best in that regard. So after kind of realizing and seeing like, oh, this, this is that exact process. This is what happens. You truly are like out of touch with the world because you're not in it. You're not involved in it as much because your job, like my job, is in the realm of social media and this world of social media that isn't even real, right? This world of just like highlight reels and outfit inspo and get ready with me's and makeup tutorials and you know, whatever else we see on the internet, that's the world that content creators are in all day, every day. And so they absolutely do lose touch with reality. We're not out there in it quite as much as maybe we used to be or as much as others are who don't do social media. And 
I will not let that happen to me. I will not let that happen to me. Uh, my growth, my personal growth is the most important thing to me as somebody who's sober and fought really hard to get sober. And after getting sober, fighting really hard to heal myself, right? Because once I got rid of the substance, the issue was still there, right? I got rid of my solution. I got rid of a solution that once worked and then stopped working, but the problem was still there. So then I worked really hard on who I am, my character, my integrity, who I wanna be, right? Making amends, fixing my messes and all that. And I did all of those things and God forbid, I let social media send me backwards, right? Send me to this place where I am feeling very ungrateful and I'm constantly complaining and my depression is coming back and my mental health is slipping. And as long as the views are there and as long as people, you know what I mean? Like that, I cannot let happen. My main goal and my priority right now and what I think is going to be best for me is implementing some something in my life that prevents me from losing touch with reality as my job is so focused on social media. And um, so I picked up a bar shift. I'm actually gonna bartend uh, the night before Thanksgiving, which is like the biggest drinking night of the year. So it's perfect. And this might sound really sad to some people. It's not sad, but it might sound to some sad to some people. I'm not even doing it for the money. I don't care about the money at all. I really don't. Um, I just wanna be, I don't know, guys, I'm trying so hard to explain this clearly and in a way that it won't make sense to people, but like, I just want to stay humbled. Um, I just want to remain present. Um, I want to see my coworkers. I want to see my boss, my regulars. I want to run around, pour beer. I'm not, I'm not too good for, for that life. I think what I'm trying to say here is, is it's important for me to never forget where I came from. It's important for me to never forget the people that were there for me from the beginning, right? which was my boss, my coworkers, of course, my family, but you know, I don't wanna ever forget about them. I don't wanna ever forget where I came from. I don't wanna ever lose humility and gratitude. And I think um, a tangible way that I can actively ensure that one way is, you know, continuing to bartend here and there. Um, my boss did offer me to live stream the bar shift so i would literally be on live while i was bartending for that shift we have done that before um so if that's something that you guys would be interested in watching let me know and um we can definitely do that um but i just think that uh, going back to going back to work at the bar a little bit would just be really good for me um I don't, I don't harp on myself, I'm not upset with myself, nor do I feel I made the wrong decision with my career choice. However, um, there are a lot of things I miss about my life when I worked at the bar full time. Um, I just think content creation is a very dangerous job. It is, it's a very dangerous job. It can be incredibly isolating, uh, incredibly isolating, like your, your day-to-day -day, um, priorities and goals are to appear and present yourself online, right? And the higher the numbers, the higher the income, so on and so forth, right? It's how it all goes. And when that becomes your main focus, as it should be, if that is your job, right? We all have to make money and live. If that is, is your main focus on the day-to-day, -day, you are absolutely going to lose touch with reality. You, you just are. Um, unless you, like I'm saying, implement things and ways in your life to remain present um, and humble and grateful, there has to be balance. And like I said, the main point of all of this really truly just is I have come way too far and I have worked way too hard for the very thing that promoted success within my life to be the, the very thing that crushes it all, right? You know what I mean? the very thing that that built it to be the same thing to, to crush it all um, is something that I will not allow to happen. And I'm very grateful that I've been given this opportunity by you guys. I'm so glad that you guys resonate with my content and enjoy it. And I plan to continue um, to post, right? I love this. This is my dream. It's, it's my creative outlet. I love creating content. It's my favorite thing in the world. And so for it to be my cre career is just it's phenomenal. It's like the key to, to life, to success for me is to enjoy what you're doing, make money while you're doing it. So that's why it's so important to me 
to make sure I do what I need to do to maintain that job in a healthy way. That's why it's important for me to maintain my job and what I've built because it's important to me and because I want to keep doing it. And I think one way that, you know, I can do that is by continuing to bartend here and there. And so, yeah, we are going to be bartending uh, Thanksgiving Eve. It's going to be so much fun. And then I think I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving, which is wild. She just took the Christmas wiener dog that I bought for my lad Target. Yeah, that's really not a toy. That's a pillow for sissy. Here she goes, look. <laughs> caught, you were caught. In some other news, Myla's loving the house. She's super happy here. She had her sleepover with her cousin here Friday and they had a ball. They had a blast, you guys. We did so much. They built a gingerbread house. Um, they played board games. They played hide and seek. I did their nails. Um, I door dashed them Chick-fil-A. I made them pancakes and then I made them lunch. Like it was just, it was so fun. It was so fun. And, and the girls had a blast. Um, so I was really, I was really glad that I got to do that for Myla. So, you know, all of the reasons why I wanted to move, um, getting to like do those things and, and see my dogs and my child enjoy what I've worked so hard for. It's definitely a feeling that I can't really explain for sure. I mean, it's definitely a magical, intense feeling and of just, I don't know, gratitude. And I think I'm still struggling to process that I did this. I'm like numb to it. I don't know what that means. I don't know why that is. But people will say to me, they're like, oh my God, like, aren't you so proud? Aren't you, oh my God, Abby, look at this, aren't you? And I'm just, I just kind of look at them and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm like this. I'm very hard on myself. Um, not so much like nothing's ever enough. Not really so much that. I just think I take a very short time being proud of myself before I move on to remaining um, focused on like the next goal. I don't ever want to get too comfortable in my success. I think that's what it is. And I think I'm like that subconsciously because it doesn't come right to me. I kind of have to think and, and grab for it in my mind. But you know, I, 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 can I talk? I'm humbled. I'm grateful. I'm proud for about 0.2 seconds. And then I'm on to, okay, what's the next goal, right? Keep myself motivated, never get too comfortable within success. So I am proud of myself. Um, and I definitely am just like, I can't believe this, but I think more than anything else, actually achieving specific goals that I had set for myself achieving those goals really the main thing it does for me is it shows me oh my god I can do it I said I was gonna do it I did it now I have it I can do this with anything now so it opens these doors of opportunity it just like kind of gives you this sense of like wow I can do that I could do anything right oh my gosh I really accomplished it what else could I accomplish it's exciting um and it makes you realize that there's there's so much and there's so much out of life and anybody really can achieve anything that they want and I think it just depends on your mentality your attitude how you talk to yourself how you treat yourself and how you view yourself um but of course once you achieve things it does become easier to realize that you truly can you can you can do it you can so you know it's been pretty cool but um yeah whole lot of um whole lot of feelings happening trying my best to work through them. So during this time, I've been reading the Bible more than I generally would. Um, and I have to be honest, I've also pulled my big book out. <laughs> uh, definitely had some dust on it, but that was necessary. So I've been reading a little bit of the Bible and the big book just to kind of keep myself grounded. Remember who this is all for and remember what I've done within sobriety because Without God, without sobriety, I can't do any of this. I'm kind of going back to the basics in a way. Girls, can we not be playing with squeaky toys right now? Like, for real? You have not picked up a squeaky toy all day long. And the moment I'm filming, you need to pick up a squeaky toy. Can we at least take... Oh, they have the Coco Chanel perfume. It's a dog toy. So I'm just kind of in this phase where I've experienced some success, but now we're kind of back to the humility aspect and then I'll get back into the hard work so that I can continue to accomplish more in life. Does that make any sense? So I guess the main point of this is I'm going to be picking up some bartending shifts for my mental health, um, to take good care of myself and my life, um, to be able to continue to thrive in other aspects with social media. You know, I don't ever wanna lose touch 
with um, reality and with life. I, I, I just, I refuse to let that happen. I just, I won't, I can't. So those are some of my plans, what I plan to do, how I plan to keep myself grounded and grateful and in the middle. Um, that's a saying that they talk about a lot in AA, but I think it can, you know, definitely apply in life in general. They always say, stay in the middle, right? Stay in the middle. Don't fall behind. Don't get too far forward. Stay in the middle of what's important to you. So for me, I want to stay in the middle of, of God, my family, my child, my career, my dreams and my goals, my success and my home. I, I want to remain in the middle of all of that, not ahead of it, not behind it, right in the middle. So a little bit of God, a little bit of sobriety, a little bit of work, a little bit of rest, a little bit of motherhood, a little bit of everything right in the middle, healthy balance. And I think that's the best way to thrive. I guess I'm struggling with it because it's like, girl, you really came this far, made it through this much, and you're really going backwards mentally right now. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, I should be so happy right now. I just bought a freaking house. I should be over the moon. I should be the happiest little girl in the whole wide world, but I'm just not. I'm just not. And it's not because I'm ungrateful. It's just because I'm suffering a little bit mentally. My mental health is just going through it. But, um... I have implemented some things and, you know, so anyway, at the end of the day, I, I don't want to lose touch. I want to stay grounded and I plan to do so with the help of my Bible, the big book, my PCP, my family, my daughter, my dogs in my home and you guys. Um, but, you know, life's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I don't care who you're watching, what YouTube blog, what TikTok video. Nobody's perfect everybody's going through shit. Yep. Even the influencers, even the prettiest Instagram models are actually miserable 90% of the time off the internet. But that's a story for another day. Truly, you know, don't let this internet shit fool you. Don't, don't allow it to make you feel like your life is not as great or exciting, you know, please. Um, the issue more than anything else is people that are appearing online are not being transparent and nobody has to, right? Everybody gets to do what they want. Um, but just keep that in mind. And I'm not special for speaking about this. I I don't want to give that vibe either. Like nobody talks about this, but I am like, please, for the love of God, do not get that vibe. I'm literally learning as I go here. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just right now, this video, I'm just being honest. I'm telling you how I feel. I'm telling you what's going on in my brain. And hopefully, you know, not only will it resonate with someone, but just kind of help you guys understand like where I'm at right now. Um, because again, I don't want to like post shorts and look like I'm so happy and everything is so great and everything is pretty great. It's pretty damn good. You know, I'm grateful. The holidays are coming up. It's going to be fun. Um, our house is beautiful. I really am so happy with this house. You guys, I really am. It's really, really good for us right now. So no, there's so much good. Um, definitely don't worry about me. Um, I'm just going through, going through it a little bit you know, and I'm processing it as I'm going through it. I'm paying attention to what's going on in my, in my brain. This is a very bad neighborhood. You got to stay out of there, but you know, also trying to pay attention and utilize the people and the resource of resources in my life who can help me continue to be healthy and continue to thrive. And I think everybody should do that, you know, no matter who you are. So all is good at the end of the day. Milo will be here later. I'm going to run to the grocery store when I finish this video. I got to get lunch, meat, and some, some groceries. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I hope you guys are enjoying the end of fall. Everybody's overwhelming me with their trees up and all their Christmas decor out. I'm like just getting started. Ooh, I'm like, I have a mixture right now of Christmas and, and fall. I better fix that. Oh my God, I like cannot keep up. And then it's like, if you don't participate in buying all the holiday shit early then there's nothing left when you go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just like, you have to play the game. Um, let me know in the comments, please, how you guys have been doing. Um, anything new, anything really great, anything yucky that we can show you some support for. Let us know in the comments. But other than that, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will talk to you guys very soon. Okay, so much love.